before we start, do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell for more video updates. Good day everyone! Today, we will going to explore the musical characteristics of Cordillera, Mindoro, Palawan, and Visayas. This unit is an overview on the music of Highland Cordillera, Mindoro, Palawan, and Visayas. It is composed of vocal characteristics which varies in every province. The Visayan folks have a deep faith in God whom they serve with devotion. Their key celebrations are fiestas or festivals for thanksgiving of good harvest and for honoring different patron saints. Through the lesson, you will discover how the people of Cordillera, Mindoro, Palawan, and the Visayas express their feelings towards each other and the environment, their history, and their supernatural beliefs. This topic is divided into two lessons, namely, Lesson 1, the musical characteristics of Cordillera, Mindoro, and Palawan, and Lesson 2, musical characteristics of Visayas. What I need to know After going through this lesson, you are expected to describe the musical characteristics of representative selections of Cordillera, Mindoro, Palawan, and the Visayas. Specifically, you will be able to compare and contrast the musical characteristics of Cordillera, Mindoro, and Palawan, composed a poem using an ambahan style, and discuss the importance of the vocal music in their daily lives. Lesson 1. Musical Characteristics of Cordillera, Mindoro, and Palawan This lesson is an overview of the music of the Cordillera, Mindoro, and Palawan where several ethnolinguistic groups live. Through their music, you will discover how they express their feelings and beliefs. Before we move on to our lesson, let us have first a short activity. This is called the picture analysis. Look at the picture. Analyze the picture and try to answer the follow-up questions after. First question, what is the picture all about? Number two, what do you think? is the language used in the picture. Number three, what kind of song does the sister use? Okay, so let's try to answer the follow-up questions. The picture being shown is all about the sister who puts her baby into sleep. The language used in the picture is Kalinga language. The kind of song that sister used is a lullaby song. Do you know that there are more lullaby songs we can find in our country? Come on, let us explore more from our lesson. Music of Cordillera In the highlands of Luzon, music is related to different occasions such as a life cycle events, occupational activities, and various rituals. Musical performances may be witnessed during planting and harvest times, peace pacts, birdship, marriage, and death rites. Here are some examples of vocal music of Cordillera. Considered to be the signature form for a specific culture in Cordillera is the Ibaloy Badiu, which means 
people who live in houses. Another examples of vocal music of Cordillera are Uwiwi, Dagdag Ay, and Opia. The genre of these three songs of Kalinga is children's song. Uwiwi is a lullaby of Kalinga that relates a child's life. Dagdag Ay is a song of Kalinga that foretells the baby's future. While Opia is a children's song sung while cradling. We also have here another examples of children's songs or infancy-related songs. Dalangan, Bata Bata, Buwa, and Kawayan Na. Last example of vocal music of Cordillera is Hudhud of Ipugao. The genre of this song is chanted epic poetry. Chanted epic poetry which is recited and chanted only during four occasions. The harvesting of rice, bone washing, funeral wakes, weddings. Themes are about celebrations of the Ifugao heroes, heroines, wealth, and culture. Here's an example of vocal music of Cordillera. Music of Mindoro Similar to Cordillera music, the music of Mindoro is used for communication with the spirits in rituals and worships, weddings, works, courtships, festive occasions, and lullabies. We have three examples of vocal music of Mindoro. First is Marayao, a spirit song used to communicate with the spirits in rituals for healing the sick and protecting the community. Second is Pamuibuyen, a legend song, song about legends which means fear of water. And last one is Ambahan, chanted poem song, composed of a seven-syllable line ending in rhymes. Look at the picture. This picture depicts the Ambahan scripts of Mindoro in which texts are commonly written on bamboo. Chanted with accompanying instruments, Ambahan is often used in parenting, in courtship, and by visitors to ask food.
This is an example of ambahan translated in English and Filipino. Okay, now let's watch an example of ambahan entitled Ambahan ni Laki Bagitan. Mga asalaganawan o araw Nugayo pa na nga indunganawan Katpungtang nanumayan nga inton Pagbatan-batan hawagualan Ariwan na kasiwalo asudan Gubay mas kinagduyan tutundayo Pagbulo na nakaraong balawanwan Ang nasabi ko, maging batang matanda o magagaling sa iba't ibang dakong mindoro ang bawat katutubo ay luminaw, makipaglinaw at luminaw pa ng higit ang kanilang pangunaw at pag-iisip tungkol sa kalagayan ng nakakarami at alang-alang sa kinabukasan ng mga maliliit na maiiwan ng mga matatanda. <laughs> music of Palawan Palawan music is characterized by imitation of sounds from nature and the environment. It is usually highly influenced by the native language of the province. Their music is usually performed by gong ensembles. Music has an important role in life of the community because it is performed in rituals such as tambilaw and the tinapay. The natives of Palawan have different kinds of vocal forms. First is kulian, a lyrical poem expressing love. Second is tultul, a chanted vocal music about epic heroes and usually chanted at night, ending at daybreak. And last is Lantege, a love song of Tagbanwas and people of Palawan. Lesson 2. Musical Characteristics of Visayas This lesson is an overview of the music of the Visayas. Through this lesson, you will discover how Filipinos express their feelings towards each other and the environment, their history, and their religious beliefs. The Visayan music is highly influenced by Spanish culture. They colonized the Philippines a long time ago. Spanish musicians introduced new styles of music, which has Western culture and tradition. The vocal music of the Visayans has different functions in their lives. The songs include children's songs, lullabies, ballad, working songs, and serenade. Balitaw, a musical style of the Visayan, is a song and dance debate between a man and a woman. The theme of the musical style is about love and marriage and is usually performed by good singers as well as dancers and actors. Here are some examples of vocal music of Visayas. First is Matud Nila. Matud Nila is a love song expresses love against all odds. Second is Rosa's Pandan, a courting song or a song of joy and love, and it tells about a pretty mountain maid who loves to dance the balita. Third is Kondansoy, a drinking song, a name of a boy who is being asked to drink laloy's tuba 
or a coconut wine. We also have Ilonga Bata, a children's song, and it is about a child whose parents are dead or have abandoned their child permanently in this world. If is Dandan Soy, a farewell song. This song is about a singer leaving her man whose name is Dandan Soy in order to go back to her hometown. Next is Ili Ili Tulug Anay, a lullaby. It is a folk song which is sung to put a baby to sleep. Next is Ako Kinisi Anggi, a work song. A work song that tells about a woman who works very hard as a dressmaker. And last one is Sipilimon, a work song. Folk song that tells a fisherman whose only catch is a single mud skipper. He then sells the fish, earning just enough to buy coconut wine. Okay, now let's hear some examples of vocal music of Visayas. First is Ili Ili Tulug Anay or a Visayan lullaby. <music> Ili ili tulog anay, wala din i-mong anay, katotsen na. Next is Dandan Soy. This song entails how Dandan Soy's lover tells him goodbye as she goes back home to the Payao. However, she is giving Dandan Soy a chance to prove his love. Dandan Soy Our last example of vocal music of Visayas is entitled the Rosas Pandan. Rosas Pandan 
Ito ay isang awitin tungkol sa magandang dalagang bukid na mahilig sumayaw sa balitaw. Okay class, that's the end of our lesson. What have you learned? Answer this question in the comment box below. What is the importance of their music in their daily lives? Okay, that's all for today. Have a good day. God bless.